about wire rope slings just for a minute. The requirement for wire rope slings, first of all, like other slings, tagging is required. We need to know what the rating capacity of the sling is, the manufacturer. It's not rejectable by length, but it's nice to have the length on the tag. It's very helpful. And it's rated capacity, of course. Um, some offer serial numbering. That's not required. Um, but it, it could be traceable as necessary. So. But we've got uh, capacity and especially capacity. If there's a multiple leg assembly with a master link and four legs. We need to have the rated capacity on that tag that represents that unit at a given uh, angle from horizontal. In this case, we have a nice, uh, nice little uh, half inch wire rope sling. And from an inspection standpoint, we would start at the bearing point up here at the eye. We're looking for shredded or torn wires, corrosion, heat damage, crushing, or metal loss, the thing looks good all the way down. I do try to compare the sleeves on each to that just a relative uh, infield inspection that uh, they, they were both pressed. I can see the, the flashing uh, down both sides. So once in a while you'll find a wire rope sling that doesn't have, you know, has an unpressed sleeve on it. You wanna kind of make sure you're always watching for that. The rope's coming out, so I'm gonna make sure I've got my eyes on both sides of the sling whenever, whenever possible. And work all the way down. Kinks and dog legs. Again, we mentioned corrosion, metal loss, shredded wires. Be very careful. This is a, I know this sling's pretty good. I've got a, a little brother over here that has some uh, shredded wires in it. And so wearing gloves uh, for some of the hard infield service inspection would be pretty critical. So let's put this sling down for a minute. Nothing uh, that I find damaging there. This is a, uh, this little sling's got a big curl in it. Um, no tag would be immediate rejection. It's a turn back sling, doesn't make it illegal, but hopefully it's had a proof test before it was sent out of the rigging shop. Notice as we unwind it, we've got some shredded wires right there on the inside. And uh, Normally you might have this over a box and or a beam and it's worried back and forth and uh, torn wires at the two bitter, bitter corners right there. So a uh, good place to get snagged. We know we have broken wire criteria, 10, 10 broken wires and a lay length or five and one strand in one lay length. And that normally a lay length is equal to about six rope diameters. So we have, basically we have two issues with this. Uh, we have, um, severe dog legs and shredded wires most of the time and I'll look up here at the eyes nothing wrong there but no tag shredded wires two dog legs or severe yeah severe dog legs and even you know sometimes you might want to be extra careful with slings that have one or two broken wires or shredded wires in them uh, because just a hand puncture and the you know, personal injury that can result from that sometimes really isn't worth having that sling around just only because it's got one or two broken or shredded wires in it. So you might be very, uh, I'd say robust about pulling those slings out of service when you know we can really uh, gouge somebody and send them to the hospital for, for a day and, and have that uh, count against us. So uh, broken or shredded wires are probably our biggest uh, drawbacks. And uh, watch out for corrosion and uh, the other uh, mechanical, physical damage. All right? Mm -hmm.